Another two mile four furlong hurdle here. It's the Silver Trophy Handicap Hurdle. Good prize money on offer here. It's a grade three handicap race here on the soft ground at Chepstow. Uh, fascinating race. Not too many runners. We've got Fountain Springs for D. Thompson. She's Far Ted for Graham Clutter Clutterbuck, the favourite. Blossom Tree for Jim Murray. Waiting on you, Martin Leadham. Parabolica and Viper Strike for Paul Rhodes. They were 1 2 last week. Can they do the same for Paul Rhodes again? Beauty Queen Martin Leadham and Good Night Naples completes the eight runner lineup here. And they're off and running in this Silver Trophy handicap hurdle. Grade three handicap hurdle here. Over two mile four furlongs at Chepstow waiting on you, the early leader. Um, but not going a great clip so far. And uh, all of the horses bunched in quite tightly, as you might expect so surly on as they come over to the first flight. So the two Paul Rhodes runners who were 1-2 uh, last week, that's Parabolica and Viper Strike, both in the same silks, both grey horses. So I'm going to have to keep my eye on the ball to make sure that I uh, distinguish between the pair correctly. And it is Parabolica, the one that's at the front, the number five, that uh, is joined up alongside Goodnight Naples there as the early leaders. But you can see all these horses are kind of vying for leadership here and uh, none really has gone on and decided it wants to be the out and out front runner but Fountain Springs is the one that this time has just moved forward to edge in front from Parabolica just in behind Viper strikes happy to just drop off that pace a little bit but then starts to make a bit of progress a lot of jockeys tugging on the reins but then having a little push to get the horse to go forward it's undoubtedly going to turn into a very tactical affair here in this silver trophy handicap hurdle as they come past the big screen and what will be the winning post in a circuit's time here at Chepstow so it's Parabolica looks like it is going to be the one that's going to go on and increase the pace a little bit and take up that position as the front runner in the pace setter. Fountain Springs a couple of lengths back in second as the horses just edge over towards the rail as they start to take quite a tight left-handed turn and then start to go uphill here at Chepstow. So it's Parabolica a couple of lengths from Fountain Springs. Blossom Tree travelling nicely in third place there for Jim Murray. Over towards the rail we've got She's uh, Far Ted for Grim Clutterbuck. That one was a one of the shorter price favourites for this race, running alongside uh, Martin Leadham's Waiting on You. Towards the rear of the field, we've got Beauty Queen and Good Night Naples is your back marker at the moment. 11 and a half furlongs is how much further they've got left, and around seven flights of hurdles left to jump. So Parabolica has uh, extended its lead. Uh, got a little, little bit slow at that one, but it still maintained a good five to six length advantage over Waiting on You that jumped quite nicely and uh, allowed that horse to move into outright second as they come to the next flight. A good jump from all the horses at the, uh, the uh, front of the field there. So Parabolica Waiting on You, Blossom Tree and Viper Strike all jumping these hurdles pretty well. And a really good jump from Viper Strike and Blossom Tree there. Both matched each other in the air with a really slick jump. And you can see that that's meant, that means that the lead is now only down to around one and a half lengths from Parabolica and the horse that in second is Viper Strike so it currently is a 1-2 in the uh, positions for Paul Rhodes as they come over the next flight but a better jump from Waiting on You and Blossom Tree allowed those two to pass Viper Strike but the jockey's not panicking there and is still sitting quite nicely and then all the horses are travelling uh, really well all the horses are on the bridle at the moment but you would say it's about 15 to 20 lengths at least from first to last at the moment so Goodnight Naples has got a lot of horses uh, to pass and a lot of ground to make up on this long time leader Parabolica as they start to turn left handed here and you can see they're going to be coming into the home straight and you can see the stands way in the background there as race goes eagerly anticipate these horses coming back towards the final flight couple of flights of hurdles and towards the home stretch so five furlongs it is they've got left to travel and just a few flights of hurdles to go Parabolica still has the lead over waiting on you Viper strikes in third there ridden along for a few strikes was Blossom Tree just having a look towards the rear of the field and Beauty Queen she's far Ted the favourite and Goodnight Naples really need to get going soon because there's just over three and a half furlongs to go and Parabolic has put in some slick jumps and opened up a huge advantage here of around eight lengths to waiting on you and Blossom Tree Viper Strike the other Paul Rhodes runner is desperately trying to stay on and get back into this and a really good jump there's allowed it to do so so two and a half furlongs left to go it's Parabolica in the lead but probably about four to five lengths now from waiting on you viper strike still in third blossom trees looked a bit one pace but is still staying on for jim murray that's fourth at the moment i can't see a winner coming from outside these top four at the moment can you with one flight left to jump and a furlong left to 
travel, it's Parabolica, whose lead is decreasing rapidly now as Waiting On You comes up alongside it. Viper Strike and Blossom Tree is still trying to get going, but into the final half of Furlong, it's Waiting On You that's pulling away now, and Waiting On You is no longer waiting on a winner for Martin Leiden because he's just landed the Silver Trophy Handicap Hurdle, a really nice Grade 3 prize on offer here at Chepstow, and it has gone to Martin Leiden with Waiting On You. He raced in just off the pace for all of that race and then stayed on really nicely over the last furlong and a half in the last flight of hurdles to pick off long-time leader Parabolica and deny Paul Rhodes a 1-2 again as Parabolica and Viper Strike come second and third. Blossom Tree fourth for Jim Murray and Martin Leadham also gets up some minor price money there with Beauty Queen who finished fifth.